Statistically, nothing directly links a concussion to suicidal behavior, but based on symptoms, doctors find some similarities. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood joining us now in the newsroom with a look at the growing concern over concussions and the long term effects. Emily. Mike, for the state of Ohio, the number of concussions has increased partially because awareness is much higher than a few years ago. But what's still unknown are the long term effects and how many times a brain can recover from a concussion. For high school football concussions, everyone from players to parents and coaches on the sidelines are learning what to look for. We know so much more today and, and so we just really try to educate them on how to take care of that then. Okay, so then we need to make sure that we're seeing the trainer, making sure that the information is also conveyed to the school nurse. Several Cincinnati schools, including LaSalle, have a relationship with local sports medicine professionals, including Dr. John Brannon at Beacon Orthopedics. Dr. Brannon says more people are coming in with concussions, but a majority resolve in a week or less. Should parents be concerned that an isolated event is going to lead to something terrible in an hour or a week or a month or a decade? Probably not. Clinical psychologist Dr. Tim Sigward specializes in neuro and sports psychology. He says concussions slow the brain's metabolism and thought process. They feel like uh, slowed mental processing speed. They just can't seem to keep up with things. Um, and then the psychological stuff might include um, increased irritability, feeling more easily overwhelmed by things, um, some aspects of anxiety and depression. And to prevent any further injury after an initial concussion, the state of Ohio requires a doctor's signature to allow any student athlete back on the field. And before the season even starts, parents and players must sign and read this form from the Ohio High School Athletic Association. It lists the symptoms of a concussion and what must happen after one is diagnosed. Mike. All right, Emily, thank you. Typical concussion symptoms include headaches, nausea, sensitivity to light, dizziness, and 